Hi, folks. Hi, folks. Hope you're okay today. It's good to be with you. And love to everybody out there. My website's jasonburnspreacher.com. And uh, God bless you all. My website's jasonburnspreacher.com. Jasonburnspreacher.com. Preacher.com. Sorry about this. So, yeah. My website is jasonburnspreacher.com. I just want to report and I'll talk about my trip to Hyde Park in the next video. But I just want to report that it was a total, utter car crash for the Muslim apologist in Hyde Park. There was one guy, one white guy, uh, he's a Muslim apologist called Paul. And I was debating him, having a discussion with him. And he asked me a question about Luke. And uh, I was stumped with that question because I just couldn't think. But as I got to talk to him and we were talking about history and I just completely tore his arguments apart um, because he didn't really understand fully about historiography of the ancient world. Um, so he was the only person that gave me problems. But everybody else, all the Muslim apologists, apart, and, and another guy who wants to debate me, he's a really nice guy uh, and, and he knows his stuff. But every other apologist that I met or bumped into, it was a car crash. It was a total car crash down there in Hyde Park. And uh, a lot of the scholarship that the Muslims are using at Hyde Park is what I would call internet apologetics. They're not really engaged in proper academic scholarship and they're using a lot of circular arguments. So it goes like this. Uh, we're right because the Quran says. Rather than actually engaging in the scholarship of the day in a particular topic. The other thing that they use is scattergun tactics where they will throw lots of questions out and you, you bog down trying to answer them. But I, I was well, going down to Hyde Park, I, I found it was a total, utter car crash for the Muslim apologists. I have never ever seen such bad scholarship in all my life. Honestly, it was an utter car crash. Um, and I can understand why they call Jay Smith a liar. I can understand why they call him out a liar and, this and, and attack him as a person. It's because the scholarship that they're actually bringing to bear is not up to, up, on, on, on par with, uh, with, say, Jay Smith or a scholar like that because they they fail to... You know, one of the things that I keep hearing from the Muslim apologist is this, or well, Western scholarship's biased, right? So what kind of scholarship are you going to bring in? Well, I'm just going to use my Quran. Who's biased? You know, complete utter car crash apologetics for the Muslims down that high part. So I think you need to get your act together. I might come down in a few weeks time, in, a, in about three weeks time, and maybe teach some of these Muslim apologies a few lessons, uh, help them to understand things. I don't know. But they don't want to learn. They think they know it all. They think they've got it all sussed. Uh, and, and they're running around just throwing out circular arguments. And they, they don't listen. They don't actually engage properly in discussion. They don't actually... They love, the Muslim apologists at Hyde Park love to hear the sound of their own voices. They love to hear the sound of their own voices. So they're, they're, they're glad to keep talking and talking and talking. But when you want to get in and when you want to say your bit, they don't want you to do that. Then when you win them in the debate and in the argument, then they switch it to something else. And then they try to get everybody to forget what was said. You know, it's complete utter dishonesty, complete utter unfairness. And they're running, they're, they've kind of taken over Hyde Park, the Muslims. 
the Muslim apologists. They've kind of taken over uh, Hyde Park at Speaker's Corner. They, they, there's, there's like hundreds and hundreds of Muslims down there and a handful of Christians and a handful of skeptics and yet it's hundreds of Muslims and all these Muslim apologists running around with cameras doing their kind of internet scholarship using their circular arguments and if they lose they go into Al Capone apologetics where they shout you down it's a complete utter car crash down there a total car crash I might have to keep coming down and just sort them all out I might do that once every three weeks I might once every four weeks I might go down and just sort them all out and, and just re realize that that we're not come here to take part we've come here to take over we're not we're not going to uh, be intimidated by a bunch of Al Capone apologists who are doing internet scholarship using circular arguments and who can't actually have academic debates. Sorry, we're not having it. You've got to move out. You need to get move out, go away, and come back with some proper scholarship. Yeah? That's my advice to you apologies out there. There's a guy who said he'd debate me. Maybe he can step up the mark and maybe he can show some proper scholarship. I know he can. I know that this guy, I, don't, I, I can't remember his name, but I know that this guy is a nice guy. I know that he knows his stuff. He told me that he's read um, James, James Dunn. He's read his works. He knows his work. So this guy must know what he's talking about. So if he gets in contact, I can come down there and we can have a debate in Hyde Park, or if not in Hyde Park, in a mosque near Hyde Park, or if not in a mosque, we can have a debate somewhere. But you've got to sort yourself out as Muslim apologists. It's, it's bad etiquette to be bringing this kind of scattergun apologetics, to be bringing this kind of internet scholarship, to be so proud and so dogmatic when and so biased in your scholarship you've got to stop it you've got to really really stop it as muslims as muslim apologies you really really have i was shocked i was really really shocked i was absolutely shocked at the circular arguments the muslims were making and they couldn't see it and they weren't willing to deal with it and i'm going to make a few uh, more scholarly uh, videos in a minute about Muslim apologists that I talked to in, in uh, iPod. Alright? Take care. God bless.